Hey guys, welcome back to Zonlex channel. For those of you that followed me a long time, you know I speak and read different languages. One day I was doing the same routine after editing and building gamblers, scrolling through different forums and social media groups. A couple of them got my attention and I'm honestly very shocked with how people are not doing research. Today, I am going to give you a small lesson about third parties and bootlegs or knockoffs. As far as I know, a couple of big Gundam groups often have a special rule when it comes to discussion and posts. You obviously need to be sensible and calm during conversation. And there's a rule that got my attention, no bootlegs or knockoffs. I've seen people trying to discuss third party in peace, but ended up with some admins have bad attitudes towards the person who post the discussion. It often results as a kick or that person got bombarded by those elites. It makes me feel surprised that many builders are still stuck in the past and believe that all third parties are still Gao Gao or some unnamed Chinese companies. I think it's a good time for me to tell you a bit of facts and improvements. Normally, some people like myself, we like to divide the non Bandai models into three categories. The garage kits, third parties, and bootlegs or knockoffs. Those three categories are completely different. I'm not just saying the name differences, their purpose, situation, and the skills you need is not on the same page. Garage kits are usually pretty expensive. They are probably one of the non Bandai models that received no hate. In fact, a lot of people will respect and admire you if you actually completed it. Just like the name, garage kits are made with minimum technologies and mostly in a bad condition. You also need to wash the parts yourself and of course paint it yourself. Usually, garage kits are for conversion. Some of the famous ones for Gundam will be MG Stargazer using the MG Force Imports as the base, the YJ. L Sasabi, YJL New and High New, and the GMD Denimus Torpedo. Garage kits takes a long time to complete. You often need to trim, reshape, and sand the parts just to fit the base model. It's not recommended for beginners or casuals. If you have no experience when it comes to customizing or kit bash, you'll find the process very difficult. Garage kits often need a lot of extra work. But is it worth it if you have the skills? Definitely yes. A lot of conversions that you can buy are actually some MS variants that Bandai will never make. So it's good to own a unique version of that MS variant. Now, how do we define a knockoff or bootleg? It's very simple. If a mode is 100% copied from Bandai, then you can call it knockoff or bootleg. Not every non Bandai models are knockoff or bootleg. The most famous one, or I should call it infamous, is the Gao Gao models. Those were from early days and I think it's now merged into the band. Gao Gao is mostly XG. I think they do the old 1 to 100 no grade 2. My memory might be wrong, but I built a horrible 1 to 100 Legend Gundam when I was a kid. I'm not sure it's Gao Gao or not, because they often change names. Anyway, Gao Gao is absolutely terrible. The build is a copy, the scale is a bit weird, and the assemble process is a nightmare. I remember that bootleg Legend Gundam was a pain. The joints were either very tight or loose, like the parts doesn't even exist. Also, nearly 80% of the parts doesn't match. The hole and the pig are not even on the same place. Of course, in the end, I threw it away as it was impossible to build it as a kid. After Gao Gao was shut down, they returned as part of the band. They do have some straight copies too, but some of the copies are horrible and some of them are excellent. The good copies are MG Jester Cannon, MG Dio, and MG Shinanju Stein. The terrible ones are basically everything else in their early days, especially the XG line. It's very easy to define knockoff, or bootlegs. You can see two things. A direct copy and paste box art from the Bandai version and you will see some Chinese words on it. Lastly, third party kits are definitely the most confusing one. We have some elites or loyalists that are very hostile to anything that is not labeled Bandai. For myself, I divide them based on the looks and structure design. As long as they are not just 100% copying the mode and that company made changes to upgrade or make their own MS variants, you can't really call them bootleg or knockoffs. The most famous third party is Dragon Momoko. DM is no longer with us as Bandai took actions and killed 
their factories. In my opinion, the golden days of DM will never return, as they didn't really have good models after they returned as MJH. Dragon Momoko have a couple pinnacle models, MG Testament and Alframe D, they are completely original and you can say Bandai is the copycat this time. Why? The reason they released Testament and Alframe D is because they just want to make DM die. What a coincidence the day that they locked DM factories, it happens that multiple boxes of Testament and Alfred D were in the factories and even the mode was in there. Another good one DM did is the MG Strike Noir is a structure and part upgrade. Same as the Soul Strike and Launcher Strike, you don't need to buy that overpriced P Bandai expansion set. Another original kit is the MG Death I've Held TV version, but that one was an experiment, so the model itself isn't that good. Especially the parts are too sharp, it will make you bleed. Also, I heard from multiple reviews that it requires Godfinger to push the parts. Meanwhile, Testament and Alframe D is smooth. The MG Akatsuki and Blue Frame Third is good too. Two more DM Golden Day products. Akatsuki has slight fitting problem, Blue Frame Third is quite worth it. You can turn it as second revise or blue frame third. The only problem is the face scale. The band is famous for copying in the early days, but recently their 88 or 66 series are getting really good. MG Super Gundam is really impressive. I'll upload that review soon. FA Mark II is another original mode. I'll make it when I'm free. The MG X 2.0. I'm really sorry, but this DX as one of the earlier the band, it basically outplayed Bandai completely. Another good early one is the MG red frame mask jacket. Despite some fitting issues, the look is alright. The Yakadoga is definitely another good one, not only they provided both color versions for you, you can convert it to the sleeves version too. Now that's another awesome part, I don't need to buy two P Bandai just to get one variant. Also the Deban MG MB versions are good too, so not every non Bandai are trash. Hobby Star and Supernova famous for their double O and wing MG designs is all good for parties. I'm still looking for a hobby star Harut to make a review, I just can't find it. Look, it's your freedom to choose what gambler or what brand you are getting. The money is in your pocket. People can force you to change your decision, but simply kicking or hating someone because they think non bandai kids are good is disgusting. Guys, you can say whatever you want, but you can't clap with one hand, no matter knockoff or not, there are buyers, so there are markets. I personally support third party or knockoffs just because I'm tired of P Bandai. I'll leave one question for people who still think people spending money on non Bandai kits are guilty. If Bandai actually makes good decision, will these non Bandai companies survive on the market? Instead of ranting on people who didn't praise your church of Bandai, maybe you should think about why these products have a market in the first place. After this video, if you still want to go around and policing people is fine. At least now you're well educated so you can think deeper. For people who post in groups or any platforms, don't be afraid to show third parties or knockoffs. You spend that money, not the person who commented down below in your post. You heard enough of the law, it's time for me to shut off and thanks for listening. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell next to it. Join my discord and link is in the description. See you next time. Goodbye.